Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Sliceform. So a lot of times when people first get a 3D printer, they're gonna be printing things like cool desk toys, a bunch of figurines, and things that look completely aesthetic. And for a beginner 3D printer and a beginner 3D printer user, a normal uncalibrated printer is gonna be just fine. But as soon as you start to get into functional prints, things that have mechanical parts, things that need to fit into other stuff, uh, you'll find that nothing really works. You have pretty bad surface quality, you're gonna get a ton of stringing in between multiple parts, and you'll run into some errors that you'll come up with quick fixes for. But in this class, we're gonna go over how to calibrate your printer and make it as perfect as possible right out the door. So by calibrating your machine, your filament, and your slicer settings, we will correct all of the issues right now because there is nothing more permanent than a temporary solution. So in this video, we are gonna be going through all of my processes to calibrate every new printer that I ever get. We're also gonna go how to calibrate the filament as well. Now, all the settings that I have are gonna be based on my location, based on the temperature of where I live, the humidity. So all the numbers that we come up with today may be slightly different to the ones that you get. And this is a really important fact because weirdly enough, even though this is a electronic and mechanical machine, all printers are just a little bit different. In a lot of 3D printing companies, they actually name all of their printers real human names because they all have little personalities, little tweaks that all make them slightly different. So within this class, we are going to be using pretty accurate measurements. And what I recommend people do is go out and purchase a pair of digital calipers. Now these are a really common tool that I use in literally every single project, whether I'm doing woodworking, 3D printing, metalworking, laser printing, the lot. Uh, you can pick a pair up for under $10 and you'll get fantastic value out of this. But because not everyone can get it, uh, you will still get value out of this class just by having pretty common measurement tools. Mm -hmm. 